good day. It's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today we're going to talk a little bit about pinging, arping, firewalls, and all that sort of jazz. So on my screen, as you can see, I've got a web page up from nursoft.net. Bunch of really cool utilities. Uh, they're good in the sense that they do exactly what they say. No ads, no pop-ups, other than their website, of course. And the utilities are all portable. So you just simply extract them and run them. And these are Windows utilities. So this guy's called Wireless Network Watcher, and it's a little bit of a misnomer because it's not just for wireless, it's for any network. And what it basically does is it says it scans your network. Now that's the key part. When you people scan their network, they typically ping stuff, ping.1, ping.2, that sort of thing. That becomes a problem if the devices have firewalls enabled. In this case, this scans your network using ARP queries, ARP. So let me just minimize this guy for a second, and I'll put this link in the article for you. So here's good old Wireshark. I got Wireshark running, and you could see when it really when it does its scan, it says my machine says who has the MAC for this IP. So this is not a ping, and then the device responds, oh here's my IP, and then basically I put it up on the results screen, and this is what that looks like. So here's dot nine right here. You might wonder, well, how did he get the device name if the firewall is on? Well, it uses LLMNR. This is interesting uh, only because when you read about this, it's always in context of IPv6. Therefore, a lot of analysts believe this protocol only comes into play when IPv6 is enabled. And that's not true. This runs over IPv4 as well. If you do not want this running, you have to disable the protocol. In some cases, you have to go to your registry and remove it from there. So in this case, we have our good old ARP broadcast. We have the device telling me the IP, and then I go and query it using LLMNR, and so on, and so on, and so on. So if you do have a need for a scan utility that does not ping, but uses ARP instead, this is a great little option. There you go. Have a good day. Bye for now.